There's no culture in the world that spends less on food or more on medicine than the United States. So to me, it's a painfully obvious truth. You can pay the doctor or pay the farmer. There are so few farmers in the United States now that they're not even included as an occupation in the census. We're lumped with all other, less than 1% of the population, and yet we're expected to feed more and more and more people. We have been educated by a fast food system that tells us that cooking is drudgery. It's much easier to go out and buy it. There's still a lot of restaurants that don't buy anything from local farms. A lot of them now realize that that is the way to get the best ingredients. You shouldn't be buying garlic shipped in the holds of ships from thousands of miles away between sex toys and flip-flops. Well, we've only been, you know, carrying on the way we've been carrying on for a relatively short span of humanity. And prior to that, for half a million years, we're doing this. We are involved in a renewal process of the American food culture. The number of farmers markets and community supported agriculture projects and restaurants featuring local foods is growing exponentially. And I feel the potential is there in green markets, in uh, farmers markets, in just the contacts that people make around food, in gardening in your backyard if you like. This community around growing food is a very powerful thing, I think. This is a place where I feel at home. It is through grassroots pressure on a weekly basis that there's anything truly edible in this country.